anime is awesome. Being able to be a member of this fan community creates an opportunity where you can learn through this media. It's not just for kids, although it is a lot of fun for kids. And expand your understanding of Japanese culture and history and use that expanded knowledge and that geeky fandom that is so enjoyable to connect with your peers in your community and share that passion with one another. You're going to be looking at a number of different sources of Japanese animation. We're going to be looking at classics, Miyazaki films, of course, and some really good 90s animes. We're also going to be looking at some contemporary favorites. I know a lot of you have been talking about My Hero Academia. I have some fun, weird shorts that we're going to be looking at as well. And then we're going to be using the information that we're getting out of these animations, first of all, to have fun and have geeky conversations, because those are the best, but also to study Japanese history, culture, mythology, and cuisine. We're going to be looking at Japanese mythology, including Shintoism and their understanding of the supernatural and the spiritual world, the hierarchy of gods. We'll also be exploring festival culture and superstitions through that. Workplace culture and economics comes up in a lot of the contemporary stuff. And when it comes to cuisine, we're going to be, first of all, admiring the beautiful food because it makes my mouth water just to see it. And then we're going to be taking the class into the kitchen and bringing some of our own recipes to life. I'm Amy Bechtel. I am a narrative design, animation, and entertainment specialist, but I'm also a really big nerd. And I have loved anime since before any of you were born, probably, which means that we are going to have a lot of really fun conversations and then take those to the next level. One of the best things about anime and the fandom is the opportunity to share our passions with one another and give each other recommendations. I am really looking forward to finding out what your favorite show is, minus Full Metal Alchemist.